Hey guys, before I start anything, I want to let you know that we started a new Discord community, a free Discord community for you guys so that you can chat and interact with one another. You can drop charts, share trade ideas, and a whole bunch of other things. So this is exciting news for us because I know that a lot of us have been wanting to get together in regards to the BK Trading Academy community. So I want you guys to click the link in the description, join our free Discord, and go ahead and interact with like-minded traders because we know that trading is lonely. All right, guys, but aside from that, we're going to dissect GBP USD with the potential of making over 400 pips. So we're going to swing trade this along with intraday trading this. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Let's mark up our charge. I'll show you where to enter, but you have to do it as soon as possible. So hopefully when you're looking at this video, it's not too late. But if it happens to be too late for you guys, you can still understand how I mark up my charts and how I execute these trades. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right, guys. So first off, we're starting on the weekly time frame. If you haven't been following us or if you don't know our trading style, we always like to start off on a higher time frame so we can get a directional bias as to what's going on and it will help us to dissect and execute our trade. So I'm starting on the weekly. First thing I notice is that we're all the way down here at the bottom here. So we're currently in a downtrend on the weekly, but we can see that price is starting to move up, approaching this resistance zone, and it could be the start of a reversal trade. If you are with me or if you're in the academy, you understand that we've got in all the way here at the bottom and we're still writing it up. But let's, let me go ahead and show you what we can actually do currently in regards to intraday trading. And then I'm gonna actually show you how we can swing trade this as well. So as I'm on the weekly, I'll go ahead and draw my trend line here from the bottom up to the top here. We're still in a downtrend here overall on the weekly, but I'm gonna show you why I believe that we may be starting an uptrend. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drill down to the daily here, fix my chart up a bit. As we drill down to the daily time frame, we can see how price shot above this previous resistance area here or this current resistance area, previous support, and it continued to break to the upside. Now it's actually breaking out of our triangle. So this is a symmetrical triangle here. And if you understand triangles, triangles are a big indication of breakouts. So typically the closer price gets to the point of the triangle, then you will find a breakout either to the upside or to the downside. Now, in this case, I believe it will be to the upside one, because if I drill back out to the weekly, price is heavily oversold anyway. Look at all of the space here and price needs to come back to start fulfilling orders. So let's go back to the daily here and we can see that price has broke our symmetrical triangle here and is retesting this support zone. So just to kind of give you a visual here, we're going to go ahead and draw a line right here straight through the triangle. We can see where the price previously tested at support one time, two times, and now three times with a wick. And if you've been watching us for a while, you understand that wicks tell us a story. And typically when you see a wick on any time frame, price is continuing to go to the opposite side of which that wick is pointing at. All right, so let's go ahead and drill down now to the eight hour time frame. So we already have the breakout and the breakout has already taken place. And every time you have a breakout, you typically have a pullback. And guess what? Price has pulled back to this previous resistance now support zone. So this is where my line is sitting at. We can see price is starting to move to the upside. So one thing that I would encourage you to do, and actually what I'm going to do, but you don't have to do it. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and buy with the low lot size where currently where price is. And I can take it up to this resistance zone for about 400 pips. If I look right, that's the price is about 1.22614 area. That will be over 400 pips where price is currently at. Uh, or I can wait for price to come back down and retest this area, this zone from here to here. And if so, I will put in a higher lot size, still risking no more than 2%. OK, so if you've been following us for a while, you understand how to actually calculate your lot sizes according to your dollar amount. So you want to make sure that you're risking no more than two percent of your entire account so you can live to trade another day. But if you have a solid strategy, your profit gains is higher than your risk. OK, so we can see price is currently pushing to the upside. If you want to intraday trade this, you can actually currently trade where price is at and you can exit where this point is either around 
around this area here for about 125 pips. So if I go ahead and circle this zone right here, you can get out anywhere in between this. You know why? Because price has struggled to beat this point here. So this area right here, like I said, Wix tells us a story because we have the tail end of the wick pointing to the upside, price tends to go the opposite direction. All right, so if I go ahead and zoom back out to the daily time frame, then it makes more sense why price stopped here because the institutions the banks and the hedge funds said that this is a very significant price so if i draw a line straight across we can see where price rested on here as previous support okay so this is a very significant area right here all within this cluster here so if you can't stand to, to stay in a trade for a few days to a few weeks then i would encourage you to take a look at entering or exiting at the top of this wick here for about 100 or so pips. So where price is currently at, you can exit around that area, around 1.1980 area, okay? Give or take. If you're not as risky and you would like for price to come back down, as mentioned, you can wait for price to come back down, retest the support, which it may not. That's, that's why I actually said, if you feel comfortable trading now, you can buy to this minor resistance zone or you can wait for the pullback or you can even do both. I've entered now where price is currently at for a buy with the low lot size. If price happens to come back and dip to the support, I will enter with another lot size. It can be slightly higher or it can be the same. Regardless, once price come back up, now you have two lots in and you can exit here. If you're more riskier and you don't mind standing in the trade for a couple days or a couple weeks, you can exit the trade up here for over 400 pips all right so that's pretty much it guys you can drill down to the hour or even the 30 minute time frame to see exactly what's going on um, let me go ahead and clean this chart up just a bit so we can see exactly what's going on a little bit clear and as i clean this chart up here you can you will notice how price is at this support zone so in every time frame you will see a support zone and you will see a resistance zone so it just depends on how long you want to trade your account balance and the time of the session will all determine when you want to enter and exit the trade so price is currently at this resistance zone here previous support you can actually wait to see if it'll break to the upside and this is what will happen in the lower time frame in the one hour time frame where price will possibly break to the upside retest this resistance zone right here and then head back down to the support so if you see something like that you can sell at that zone and from here to here that's about 75 pips on the hour time frame so that's also intraday trading so i'm going to go ahead and repeat myself just to make sure we all got it here so where price is currently at we can wait for a possible pullback to support which may or may not happen or you can enter right now for a long-term buy, which is our swing trade. And like I said, that's about 400 pips from where price is at. It's about here. And that's at 1.226 whatever area, depending on where you feel comfortable. Or if you don't want to wait that long, you can exit at this previous wick right here for about, like I said, about 70 to 85 pips or so. All right, so guys, let me know what you think of this strategy. This is something I'm personally entering right now. I would love to see how you guys trade this, if you're gonna trade this. And if you did trade it, I want you to drop your, your profits, your successes, your losses, whatever it is. Risking no more than one to 2% is completely up to you. That's something we stress with our students, guys. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I want you guys to take a look at the free Discord, join the Discord community so you can connect with us, with other like-minded traders. And like I said, we won't be in there as often because our dedication is to our private Discord. However, you can still collaborate and drop charts and talk trading, specifically Forex trading with our BK Trading Academy community. Don't forget to hit subscribe, the like button, join our Telegram as well if you like to do that. And we will see you in the next video. Have a blessed day, guys.